Welcome to Horizons of Thought. Today I'm going to finish up what I intended for the introductory portion of this vlog. I'm going to talk to you about how people change their views as they get older. When you're a small child, between the ages of zero and six, you remember next to nothing of what your experience is. It doesn't mean it doesn't influence you, it does. If your parents are very good at what they're doing and there's no abuse in your background and no war, you grow up one way. But if you've been abused or deal with difficult situations, you tend to grow up a different way and this will affect you quite profoundly for the rest of your life. But you won't necessarily remember why. Now from age 6 to 10, you start to piece together more memories. By the time you're 12 to 14 though, that's when you first start beginning to have serious conceptualization of how to abstractly think. And that's around about the time where you really start building up your philosophy. Are you religious? What do you believe economically? What do you believe politically? You form this out of the environment that you're in. But by the time you start university, you've only been doing this thing, this fully human thing for five to six years. You don't have a lot of knowledge yet on any particular topic, more if you've read a lot, but often even so very little personal knowledge. So if you're anything like me, you find that you have very strong beliefs in one moment and it doesn't take very long for your beliefs to change just as quickly and you'll then have very strong beliefs that are different from the ones you had weeks before. This particular process is very fast when you're younger, but it never stops. There is no end to your story until the day that you die. Before then, your views, your thoughts, how you understand this world, they will continue to change. Even things you are completely certain you'll never change your views on, they will continue to change. And studies have shown this still happens from people from age 50 to age 60. So you can count on the continued change of what it is you believe. Now, let me tell you a few reasons why your beliefs will change. One is the way our intelligence works. We get a little worse as math. After the age of 30, we slowly start declining in our math skills. We have a little more trouble memorizing things as we get older. But if we exercise and we maintain our health, that fluid intelligence still remains quite high, even as we age. Having said that, there's another side of intelligence, which the psychologists sometimes call crystalline intelligence, or what you might colloquially refer to as knowledge. And that will continue to accumulate as you get older. The more curious and open you are to the world, trait openness being a personality trait, the more you explore things, the more you study, the more your work requires learning new things, the more you're going to learn and the greater that crystalline intelligence gets. So you have a vast array of stores of information that accumulate as you age that help you decide your philosophies. At the same time, depending on your personality, you may have decided that you want to try to change the world and improve it. There's a lot of energy to do this when you're young, but there's often not a lot of skill in figuring out how you make the world better when you're young. As you age, you accumulate various skills. You get the social skills to get people to do what you want. You get the work skills that you need to actually be trusted in your work. You get the experience. And if you've done good work throughout your life, people will trust you more, which gives you more power to actually affect the world for good or for bad. Having said all of that, as you accumulate effort into improving or working on the world, you're going to figure out two things. One, when you get it wrong, it can really hurt a lot of people. And that tends to make people a little bit more cautious about what they want to do to improve the world. The second thing is you're going to find out that there are some people who don't want the world to be better. They want to find a way to use you or get something free out of you. And you'll meet more and more of them as you get older. You might have been very unfortunate when you were young to have been treated incredibly badly and known them when you're young. But by the time you get to my age, even if you were treated very well in your youth, you will have met plenty of people who try to use you and exploit you. So when you go about to try to make the world better, you'll find you can do it with more facility as you get older, as long as you are the kind of person who disciplines yourself to work hard and to do things that are difficult to do. You will get better at this, but you will also be more careful about how you try to change the world. The third thing that you'll find out is when you try to teach people, those who really want to help themselves, those who really want to study hard and work hard, those who are 
brave and go out and do new things, those who push hard through difficult work, you'll find that they improve the most. And you'll come to understand how important it is to give people the skills they need to help themselves, how incredibly valuable that is. A third thing that happens to people as they age, that's a little less good, is our bodies weaken. Now, I've been very fortunate. I'm in my mid-40s and I still maintain a lot of strength. I'm probably actually healthier than I've ever been in my entire life because of the exercise regime that I'm on. But eventually, time and old age will catch up to me and my body will weaken. And this is true of everybody in the world who gets a chance to get older is their body will weaken. And we know from studies as our bodies weaken, we are less inclined to physical violence, but we're also less inclined to action of all kinds. We tend to want things to stay the same. We tend to want to be more comfortable. We tend to want to accumulate more wealth. We don't want to go out and do the hard work of changing the world as easily. So these forces generally interact with people to make them a little bit more conservative. On the plus, plus side, as you get older, when you try to plan businesses or plan on working in the world, you'll find that you tend to have better results. On the minus side, if you let the difficulties of life get to you, you will weaken and not be able to affect the world for good at all. And that is the thing that haunts the minds of all people, the forces that corrupt and encourage them as they grow older throughout their entire lives. And so when you think about what it is that you believe about the world, you're going to find that it changes. It never stops changing. And so it's very valuable to pay attention to what it is that people believe who are young and old and weigh the pros and cons of what it is they believe and try to understand why. I say this really in particular because I have seen a trend that does disturb me in the academic world where a person will get up and stand in front of an audience and talk about how they want to change the world and then find themselves almost invariably insulting an older generation that has a view that's different from theirs. These people are old, they're conservative, they're fuddy-duddies, they don't want to change anything. They're interfering with my plans to make the world better. I just wait for them to grow old and die so that the young can take over. But the young never take over in this way because they also grow older and they also find that the things that they've learned and experienced when they were younger influence their thoughts and moderate what it is they want to do. Age can bring great wisdom because of all of the things that you learn how to do. It can also bring great foolishness if you don't actually deal with hard work, don't learn to work hard, don't learn to learn lots of perspectives from other people, don't have the humility to realize that people of all ages can actually have wisdom and tell you things. So with that, I hope that you enjoyed this episode of Horizons of Thought. If you are interested in this program, please click the subscribe button, click the like, and hit the bell because the bell will give you notifications. If you want to support this program, look down below to the donor box, click on that, and subscribe to the program. It comes with benefits based on the level of subscription. Thank you, and I will see you in a few days.